we have a conical pendulum that consists of a rod of length l it's rotating with omega we need to find the angle theta the rod will make with the vertical so the hint of this how to do this problem was in problem 1.269 where we calculated the centrifugal force because of a rotating rod so here now you can imagine that because of the rotation the rod will experience a centrifugal force towards so in this particular case for example yeah this is the diagram so it will experience a centrifugal force towards left and each element will experience different amount of centrifugal force and to counter that you can see that each element has a same amount of mg force mg towards down so that's going to provide the counter torque that's that will prevent the rod from flying up so it will maintain at an angle theta where the torque because of these mg elements will be equal to the torque because of the centrifugal forces on these rod elements now we know that uh, because the gravitational force is uniform everywhere so we can replace that whole force with the mg at the center of mass and then the centrifugal force we cannot do that because it's varying as you go along the rod so we need to integrate to find the net torque due to centrifugal forces so let's take a small element here and let's calculate the small torque due to this element and then we can find the total torque and balance it with torque due to mg so df the cent uh, due to the centrifugal force with respect to the rotating frame is dm into a so a will be omega square x sin theta because it's turning in a radius of x sin theta so this is x this is x sin theta this is x cos theta is so dm we can write as dx by l into m so this is the df now let's balance the torque the so torque due to centrifugal force and gravity are balanced as rod is at rest with respect to o so o we are assuming that it's a rotating frame of reference it's not with respect to ground with respect to rotating frame of reference o so now torque due to mg is simply mgl by 2 sin theta net torque due to gravity and net torque due to this force df will be df into x cos theta so df into this height that is x cos theta so both the torques will be balanced at a given angle theta that's what we need to find so we put the value of df here we get a function of x so i have not solved it so theta is a constant we can take that out l will be l and omega square also are also constants so inside you will have x square dx so when you integrate that you'll get the value of cos theta to be this which is our answer all right